caught in a storm of uncertainty that united thousands across the globe in prayer and a God who heard and provided. This is God's ship, Operation Mobilization's next ship, the Logos Hope. Welcome to the Logos Hope, OM's next ship. Friends from the Faroe Islands, Denmark, Germany, Sweden, UK, and the USA came to see the ship firsthand and celebrate the Lord's goodness. The whole of the OM world is excited about this great gift that God has given us. It's an amazing confirmation to us of a God who answers prayer yet again. Of course, it's an amazing challenge as well, just to walk around the ship, see its size, to see all the work that still needs to be done on the ship, to think of the number of people that we're going to need to serve on board. Experiencing a very confined space on the Logos 2 for two years, there are huge possibilities with the space you have here. It's a great tool. For three years, prayer partners around the world have been praying in earnest for a ship to replace the Logos 2, a bigger ship to provide the space desperately needed to cater to the multitudes hungry for knowledge and hope. A new ship to allow a larger crew to have more interaction, more personal contact with visitors. Precious opportunities on board. I remember having a dream. It was as though I was part of a prayer meeting a dedication service for a ship. I was asking the question, well, God, is this it? And it was almost as an audible voice came saying, as I was with Logos, Logos 2, Doulos, I will be with Logos Hope. Personally, I must say that was almost like a, another stamp, a seal of confirmation on our way forward. It's especially emotional for me because to the same city I came 34 years ago to buy the first Logos. Now we have this bigger ship as we have new younger leaders who have a bigger vision and a greater vision, a more holistic vision in which we need more space in order to accomplish what we sense the Holy Spirit has put upon our hearts. So this is an exciting time. This is for us a God moment because this is God's ship and we're going to see some phenomenal things happen, especially as more people get involved with us both here and around the world. With three times the capacity of the Logos II, the Logos Hope is being transformed into a great tool for ministry. Imagine a visitor-friendly space where people can browse for books in an indoor, air-conditioned book fair, explore interactive exhibits, and come away challenged. Imagine visitors relaxing at the cafe, listening to the crew share about Jesus over a cup of coffee. Imagine increased opportunities to attend conferences and concerts in a 500-seat meeting room. Imagine better facilities for community life and the training of 400 crew and family members. Imagine a greater capacity for aid distribution and relief work. The Logos Hope will first undergo structural rebuilding. Then comes the outfitting phase. Here the ship will be laid up as it gets refurbished and equipped for ministry. During the outfitting, the Logos Hope will need hundreds of volunteers with practical skills to come and serve. I think the main qualification for anybody who comes to work on the ship is that they have the same vision that we have, and that is that we want to take the gospel to the world especially those people that have never had the opportunity to hear. We want tradesmen in every branch of industry, carpenters, welders, electricians, fitters and machinists, marine engineers, deck officers, willing helpers, people who are prepared to be involved in hard work, but who have an energy that comes from God. We've been praying that the Lord would lead us to His ship in His time. And now the Logos hope is a reality. But still there's a long way to go. We need continued prayer for all the work that needs to be done. We will be 
inviting people to come to help make this vessel become active in ministry. Most of all, we need people to join this ship, to be a crew member of Logos Hope, to take the gospel into all the world. That's why we have this ship. We want to see the good news of Christ going into all the world. Bring